Okay then guys, welcome back to this next episode. We have had to reshuffle a few things around, but we do have some news regarding the Champions League. Uh, the next qualification group has been drawn, and it is a tricky group. We've been put up against Juventus, Liverpool, and PSV. This is not going to be easy, guys. It really isn't. Um, we are currently about to play Atletico Bilbao, who are top of La Liga at the moment, and then Liverpool come to the Bernabeu for the first game of our Champions League. Uh, these two games I find are incredibly crucial for the second group phase because you have a massive, massive break after it before the Champions League resumes and you want to get that head start. You want in the back of your mind that you've got two wins, six points and you're ready to go and push on with the Champions League. Even four points in this situation where there's one, um, <clears throat> where there's one home game and one away game been played. Anyway, the team today is this. We decided to move a few things around simply because of injuries and suspensions um, and we're going for this. We don't have two extra players I'm not going to delve into the youth I don't think we need to at this point but this is a big game um, we need to get the win here to put pressure on them I, I don't think they're going to last if I'm being perfectly honest with you there's the first goal by Zidane um, but like I said we, we can't afford to drop anything here especially at home this is super important that we actually win not just draw we need to win and that's not a very good sign that they've equalised and taken the lead so this next half is going to be crucial for us here Oh my goodness me, it's 3-1. This is a nightmare of epic proportions, guys. <clears throat> and then we've got Liverpool in a couple of days as well. Which I don't think is going to go too well if we're playing like this. All right, Maxime, you're going to have to come off. Oh my god, it's 4-1. We are screwed. Like I say, Helguera is playing in that position. We don't have Patrick Vieira today. Uh, he is suspended for this game, which is incredibly frustrating because I do feel that he would have added something. You can see Helguera playing at six there, which is just really. I'm just gutted that we that we haven't. You know, we didn't go for this game right at the off. Um, but clearly they deserve it. I mean, you don't come to the Bernabeu and score four and get nothing. Um. I think that's pretty much that. That is a devastating blow to us. I really did think we'd be a bit closer than, than what's just happened there. Um, we really need to focus now on getting all these players back in the team, getting them back in the fold, especially Patrick Vieira, which I think he should be there. Yeah, he's back now. <coughs> so I'm going to have to have a little, little mix around here. So Helguera will go in there. Show him on there. Muntis is is back as well, which is quite good actually. Um, yeah, that that wasn't that didn't go to plan. I think the next game is so important now with Liverpool. I know it's not the actual Premier League, uh, not the La Liga, but we, we've got to win this. This is super important to actually keep the momentum going with us. Morientes is fit again, which is always good news. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just go for a full out attack. Raúl's knackered. Let's get Morientes in. Zidane's tired Solari. To be fair, we could bring Solari off. We could actually bring Zidane off as well. Let's try it. I know it's risky, but I'm just thinking for the sake of fitness and the quality of the team that we have, I'm hoping that we can actually do something here. There we go, Roberto Carlos, get in. Just win this home game. So important these home games now in the Champions League, especially when you come against teams like Juve, Liverpool, PSV. They're going to be mega, super important. <clears throat> okay, one nil at half time. Juve obviously winning. We kind of knew that against PSV. Tenerife next. God, they're quite close to us as well. Goodness me, we need to start to we need to start to really get into the groove here. I mean, hopefully, when champ the Champions League has been put to bed um, for over the Christmas period, then we can really start to focus on the fifteenth of December is when we get all our players in as well. So there'll be a massive reshuffle there in terms of who's starting and who isn't. Oh God, I just got to keep this. Maxime again is not playing too well. I'm going to bring Figo in. Let's see if he can do anything. And I might actually bring Zidane on as well for Guti. Oh my god. I thought they had a penalty. Zidane for Guti. Oh, 
and we'll do one more. We'll do Raul for Morientes. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, that was a big win. That that because that was coming, becoming a bit of a concern for me there. We need Hierro back. We need his influence. I know Vieira makes a good captain, but Hierro is the original captain of this team. Okay, this next game's huge. Every single game is Salgado full training. Yeah, they used to play him quite a lot, didn't they? Mikel Salgado. He's a bit of a legend. Well, I don't know if he is a legend, but. I just remember him playing a lot for Real Madrid in his time. Obviously, when Duff's here, there's no, there's only one, isn't there? Right, he is. Yeah. Ooh, do you know what? I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna clear it because I need to, I need to think here. Right. Yeah, we're still out. Carranca. I like Carranca. I think he's a good player. Roberto Carlos Vieira. Left Solari. Centre Zidane. Right, McManaman. Oh, do you know what? I'm tempted to just shove Figo in on the right. Let's see how he gets on. Raul. Yeah, let's see how Figo gets on in there. Salgado. Campo. McManaman Guti. Morientes. Right, here we go. <coughs> Doesn't look good, does it? We seem to be there seems to be a lot more white than uh, than black and white at the minute. Yeah, I don't like that. Even more frustrated when Maxime gets a goal disallowed for being offside. This isn't working. Do you know what? Figo seems to play better up front. That's what I've noticed. So if I bring McManaman on for Maxime and I swap them round. Yeah, seems to seems to hit a spot. Maxime hasn't been playing that well recently. Going through a bit of a dry patch. Oh bloody hell! That is just sums it up, doesn't it? Sums up the luck. I mean, ugh, look at where we are. They're not going to be happy. They're just pleased. Okay, that's that's a concern in itself when they're just pleased. Severe at home next, which I know we can win. We can beat these guys, even though they are a top quality side. But yeah, we've just got to keep pushing on. I mean, look at this. T the two defeats in the league. I mean, we've lost three games. We have only lost three. There was two, but that just shows the form is shocking at the minute. The fact we've lost two of them. We've lost 66% of how many games we've lost in the season in the last two games alone. It's ridiculous. Anyway, guys, please remember to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video.